Targeted therapy is a little bit of a, a loaded question in that every, every drug really has a, uh, has a target. But, but usually when people talk about targeted therapy, they're thinking about um, the, the more uh, molecular targeted therapies and such. So in lung cancer, there's really uh, one now approved agent uh, that's come out. It's called erlotinib or Tarceva. Uh, every agent has two names. Um, so erlotinib started off being used sort of across the board in all types of lung cancer. It became apparent about five years ago that there were a certain subset of patients that really had a dramatic benefit. Others that didn't fit in that, you know, had an okay benefit, but there was this 10% or so that really had a dramatic benefit. They tended to be never smokers um, who had a type of cancer called an adenocarcinoma. Further uh, characterization of those uh, patients and of their tumor showed that they had mutations within this gene called EGFR, which turns out to be the target of erlotinib. And uh, treatment with erlotinib uh, really, in those particular subset of patients that have an EGFR mutation, gets phenomenal responses with really minimal toxicity. So uh, what that has led us into is, is Instead of treating all comers the same way, we want to ask patients or we want to ask of their tumors, you know, do you have an EGFR mutation? Because if you do, the drug for you is going to be erlotinib. Now, there, there's been more evolution now as that's gone on, and there it turns out there's a, a second targeted um, um, abnormality called EML4 ALK, and that's a, a different kind of mutation. It's called a translocation. And there's a drug that's actually not yet approved. But there's a lot of excitement about it that, that hopefully that'll be sort of the next generation.